Her car's in the system is stolen. I don't care. You see it's me. You see I'm the owner. What are we doing? Everything I do is legit. Everything I do is legit. Leave my sister alone. Back up. Get her back up. Back up. Look what they doing to her. She's not listening. Get back. I'm going to offer two, bro. Yeah. not right. She can't breathe. What's your name? you, Kyle. you. I hope y'all all go to hell. Welcome to Audit Oblivion, uh, the modern world where logic and reason are our guiding lights. Unless, of course, you happen to be caught in a whirlwind of chaos like our star from September 21st, 2020. When police officers approached the driver of a vehicle that was showing as stolen in the police system, all hell broke loose. Lying. This female driver decided that today was the day to showcase what happens when you leave logic at the door and let emotion drive the car. Literally. Being black, as it turns out, doesn't grant anyone the right to go full throttle on the Crazy Express. Bad Not light. Now. Light. Now. Huh? You will go on administrative leave effective what immediately. What now. What happened? I don't know, it's reported it's stolen, but now, I guess she's the I'm registered owner. I'm Sydney Ramsey. So how's it, how's it, how's oh. the register stolen? I don't know, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I, I think you got, the, you got the hot sheet? Here she is, in her finest hour, screaming, yelling, and carrying on in front of her child. Because you know, nothing says responsible parenting like a public meltdown. Can we show her that? Can we just show her that it's on the list of stolen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if she wants. Hey, what's her name? What's her name? Ma'am. 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 I need you to step over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I want to show you. I want to show you something. I'm trying to show you. Listen. See your car right here, ma'am? See it's on red. You see A W A. There's no possible way. Listen. Listen. No. There's no. Right. She's she literally ever, not gonna know. Well, ever, listen, listen. Ever, we're trying to tell ever. you. We're trying yeah. to tell you. No, it hasn't. Leave me alone. No, it hasn't. Never in life has it ever. Everything I do is in my name. Listen. I'm trying to. We're trying to show you why we stopped. System you did? Did you make up the listen. numbers? No, listen. Where'd you get the numbers from? All right, I'm done. I'm done. It's reported as stolen. Okay, but it's mine. You see, I'm the owner. If, I'm the would owner. you let me talk? If sure. you're the owner, okay. we'll take it out of the system and we'll have you out of the way. But that's why what, we're confirming that you're the owner. How, what else do you need? To run you in the what system to make sure this car is registered. All right. Give me my registration and my insurance now. The officers attempted to verify if the vehicle was stolen. You know, just doing their due diligence. But patience is a virtue lost on our leading lady, who couldn't possibly wait for a verification process. That's for logical people. And in this case, logic left the building a long time ago. On your way. Give me my What's your name? Tidy, you cops. Tidy, you I hope y'all all go to hell. They love Jesus, so that's not happening. I bet it will. Soon enough, it's already written. Let's take a moment to applaud these officers. Their patience rivals that of saints. I mean, who wouldn't want to be yelled at while just trying to do their job? Truly a career highlight. But the enraged driver is far from done. She claims that she can leave because she is tired of waiting and the car belongs to her. So she gets into her car and attempts to drive off. 
Let's just say things go south from here. Stay over there. I'll just leave. No, you can't leave. You can't. It's my car. I can absolutely. Ma'am. Mike, do you have the keys? Ma'am, 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 get out of the car. What are you doing? Stay over there. 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 I'm not going to tell you again. Stay over there. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. It's my car. It's not stolen. Listen, watch out. And now enter the supporting cast. Spectators who, instead of calming the woman down, jumped to her defense. Because what this situation clearly needed was more people fanning the flames. Bravo, folks. Standing ovation. I'm doing her in here. Leave me the f alone. Stay over there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not going to tell you this. Stay right there. Leave my sister alone. Yeah, it's going to be a fucking Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. This, dear viewers, is what happens when you are raised to believe you are perpetually a victim. When emotions rule and reason takes a back seat, we get this. A spectacle so embarrassing, it makes reality TV look sophisticated. Listen, no, that's fine. We're trying to, listen, we're trying to run the protocol. Back up. You back up. Back up. You back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Get behind the curve. Get behind the curve. Back up. Back up, ma'am. Ma'am, stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Please. Please stay back. We got, listen. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Now you'd think breathing might be a priority in such a situation, but our heroine here is so engrossed in her performance that she seems to forget that basic necessity. Spoiler alert, she can breathe. But why let facts get in the way of a good tantrum? I'm gonna stay over there. Stay over there. All right, all right. Back up, 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 back up. Yo, you don't need that many. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. Why is it not a female officer? Back up. Listen. Guys, guys, back up, back up. Listen, listen, listen. They got to try to calm her down. Relax. Yo, you need to tell them that she can't breathe, man. They need to help her. She's, she's getting trust me. They're doing what they got to do. Step back, step back, step back. Okay, I'm gonna record. That's fine, that's fine. Record all you got once. But stay. Record puppy. Stay on the curve. Stay on the curve. Right here. That's way. We good, we good. I'm gonna offer two I'm gonna offer two, bro. It's not right. It's not right. It's not needed for all this extra stuff. In a world that often feels like it's spiraling out of control, maybe it's time we all took a step back. Let's use a bit more logic and reason and a little less hysteria. After all, we owe it to the next generation because they're watching and learning from us every day. It's for lot. It's for lot. It's for lot. Anyone else? Talking? It's for lot. Sit down and stay still. Yeah, baby, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. And now the cherry on top of this chaotic Sunday. Her child is still in the car. With mom arrested, who's there to look after the little one? Oh wait enter the self-proclaimed sister. Except, plot twist, she's not related by blood. What a heartwarming family reunion. Are you, are you, are you a relative? I thought you said you were her sister. That is my sister. So, the, the little girl's in the car. Ain't that your brother's? That's my sister. 
Okay. There's a little, there's a little girl in the car. That's not my Well, did you saying that's your sister? So I would suggest go over there. A whole kid in the car. A whole kid in the car. No. 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 Call your supervisor. Where's he at? Go get him. Go get him. No one talk to him first. Ma'am. Let me talk to him first. Stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. The officers were in the process of removing the vehicle from the database to prevent future stops. A simple, helpful gesture. Yet our leading lady couldn't extend a few minutes of her time to let them finish their job. Being agitated is one thing, but being illogical, that's a whole new level of unnecessary drama. Stay back, stay back, get on the curb. Care. Boss, get on the curb. Yeah, close the I'm not gonna tell you one more time. Stay on the curb. What you mean? I, just, I got him on tape. What you talking about? I don't care. I'm not gonna stop yelling none of that. Y'all gonna hear me today. Put that down. Get out of here. Yeah, car coming up. Hang on the uh, crowd on the west side. Pull right up. Y'all hurting her. Put her in the ambulance. Put her in the ambulance. So stop, so stop them. Whether it was the claim that she couldn't breathe, was hurt, or was wrongly arrested, the consensus among the onlookers was clear. The police were in the wrong, and the woman was right. This kind of mentality, where facts take a back seat to immediate emotional reactions, is a significant reason for the division in our communities. It's a knee-jerk response that disregards context and due process, creating an environment where logic and reason are overshadowed by a rush to judgment. Such perspectives not only fuel unnecessary conflicts, but also undermine the very fabric of our society, making it harder to achieve genuine understanding and unity. Thank you for watching Audit Oblivion. If you found this video informative, consider leaving a like. And if you are new here, subscribe for more police body cam footage.